Welcome back to Information Service Engineering. This is lecture number 10, Basic Machine Learning, part one. As always, before we go into the details of this lecture, we give you a brief recap of the last lecture. In the last lecture, we still were dealing with knowledge graphs. So this was symbolic knowledge representation. And you learned about OWL, one of the most sophisticated languages in the semantic web technology stack for knowledge representation. You learned about the building blocks of OWL, the web ontology language, and how to create the more complex classes, or also to create complex properties. And there we did stuff like, for example, loose and strict bindings. After we finished with OWL, next thing we did was knowledge graph programming. So we, sh we are showing you some examples on how to use what we have already learned so far in terms on the example of a program and we were using there the programming language python and we created two notebooks for you where you could see the usage of two different libraries where you can include rdf data into your program and then you can do useful things with it and in the end we had an additional chapter on the graph in knowledge graphs so this means we were looking at the graph theoretic foundations of knowledge graphs and how to make use of the knowledge about the structure of the knowledge graph from a graph theoretical point of view. And then we could answer questions like, for example, what makes a node important? Okay, so far so good, but this lecture now is focusing on machine learning. This is the other side of artificial intelligence. Therefore, and to get these two sides together again, we start with a brief history of artificial intelligence, showing the differences and also explaining why exactly this machine learning part, which is of course closely reflecting also the principles of biological learning, why this has become so important and so successful these days. And after this brief introduction, we go into machine learning itself. So in the next chapter, Introduction to Machine Learning, we will ask questions like, how do we make or enable a machine to learn? How does learning really work? How do we learn as humans and how can we adapt this to machines? So this, of course, is a rather important question that we try to solve and to discuss there. Of course, all the world is talking about machine learning today, but there are challenges and you have to keep exactly these kind of challenges in mind to avoid pitfalls and failure that you can make. And two of the most important things, of course, if you are learning by example, this is the case of supervised learning, everything of course depends on your training data that you use to train your system. If your training data is insufficient, either from quantity or quality, this means also your algorithm in the end, your model that you train cannot be of good quality. You can't expect then good results from it. On the other hand, it might perform too well on the trained data. So this then is called overfitting which means a loss of generalization capabilities. So it works well on your training data, but then if you expose it to previously unseen data, it might fail. And of course, your data that you have uh, collected to train your model might be biased. There might be a gender bias. There might be a racial bias or something like that. These are challenges we will talk about in this section of the lecture. Before then, in the end, we will talk about the general workflow of machine learning. And there we will talk about how to collect the data, how to clean and pre-process the data, how to split the data that you have collected into training and test data set. We will talk about the validation data set then. And then also we will talk in the end about evaluation because you have of course to check and review the quality of your uh, achieved and trained model in the end. And for that, we have a few new measures. You already know precision and recall, but you will learn how to do better evaluation of your machine learning algorithm. Okay, so these are the upcoming topics for this lecture. Sit back, enjoy, relax, and of course, have fun. <laughs>